Welcome to Lecture Online. Now that we have a pretty good understanding how to deal with logarithmic and exponential functions, let's look at some applications. So the first one we're going to look at is called the Beer-Lambert Law. The Beer-Lambert Law says that if light goes through material like water or glass or plexiglass or something like that, it will diminish in intensity as it goes further and further into the material. The equation to be used for that is equal to is minus 1 over k times the natural log of the ratio of the intensity at a certain depth into the material divided by the original intensity as the light enters the material and that equals x the distance into the material. So k is just a constant that depends upon the material and let's say that for a particular lake k is equal to 0 0.05. So we need to find the intensity when we're 10 feet into the water and how far down do we need to go for the intensity to be one half the original intensity. So notice the light enters the water as it goes further and further down. The intensity diminishes with distance. All right, what we're going to do here is we want to solve for, um, for i when we plug a certain value in for x. So what we need to do here is we need to isolate this quantity right here so we can take the antilog. So we're going to multiply both sides by minus k. So that becomes the natural log of i divided by i sub naught is equal to minus k times x. So what we did, we multiply both sides by minus k, that diminishes this to 1, and here we get minus kx. Now we need to take the antilog of both sides, so we take e raised to the natural log of i divided by i sub naught is equal to e to the minus kx. Now this negates that, so we get i, is equal, i divided by i sub naught is equal to e to the minus kx, and finally solving for i, i, which is of course a function of x, is equal to i sub naught times e to the minus k times x. So now we need to plug in the value for k, for k and the value for x to get the value for the intensity at 10 feet. So i, when x is equal to 10 feet, is equal to i sub naught times e to the minus k, which is 0 0.05, times x, which is equal to 10. And that should give us the answer. Now notice, of course, since x is in feet, k would have to be in 1 over feet in order to negate the units right here. So that would be in uh, 1 over feet would be the units for the, the constant k. And so now we go ahead and plug in what we have here. So we have 0 0.05 times 10 times the negative. And we raise, oop, let me do that again, 0 0.5 negative use that as the exponent, e to the x, and so we have, this is equal to 0 0.606 times the original intensity, which means that the intensity, 10 feet down, x equals 10 feet into the lake, the intensity has gone down to about 60% of what it was near the surface. So how far do we have to go down in order for it to be half the original intensity? Well, let's go ahead and take the equation right here, and we can then say that 1 over k, and it's a minus, times the natural log of, now the intensity is going to be 0 0.5 times the original intensity divided by the original intensity is equal to x. So when we've done this cancels out, so when we solve this in a calculator and plug in the correct value for k, we can find out the value for x down where the intensity is half of what it was at the surface. So minus 1 over 0 0.05 times the natural log of 0 0.5 is equal to x. So we get 0 0.5, take the natural log of that, divide by 0 0.05 and times the negative 1. So we know that x must be equal to 13.9 feet rounded off to one decimal place. And that's how we solve that type of problem. Again, having the command of working with logarithmic and exponential functions and be able to go between the two by taking the log and the antilog, it becomes really easy to solve many of these nice application types of problems like the one that we have over here. So we'll show you some other ones where these logarithmic and exponential functions come in really handy to solve these types of problems. So stay tuned, I'll show you some good other examples, some more applications of how to use these equations.